Alright guys, how's it going? GF7 here, and today I'm back with another 50 odd K squad builder. Today it is quite a different squad builder, there are a few different players. And I hope it's just a bit of a different one to hope you enjoy. To start us off, we have Claudio Bravo in goal. Barcelona's number one. You, you expect big things every time Claudio Bravo puts on a shirt. And he doesn't let you down. Chile have won the last two Cobb Americas. He's been their goalkeeper for the last two Cobbers. Including the win on penalties a year ago. He's a six foot goalie, very quite a small one really. But he's for all the stats that matter in FIFA, he's got high on FIFA and he is a goalie that you can trust. At right back I have Daniel Carvajal. Carvajal is a Real Madrid player of course, Spanish. He seemed to pick up again, he was dropped out and Danilo was there to replace him, but he's brought back into the team store now for Real Madrid and he is back as a player. 81 pace, 81 friend related physical, he is very good, but he has a high attack and work grades and so if you've got a player like Neymar running down against you, you can be caught out and it can be very bad for you. The next player we have is Rafael Varane. Everyone loves Rafael Varane on FIFA, he's just so quick, so strong, so tall. He's probably the perfect defender on FIFA. He's better than Ramos in my opinion on FIFA, that's for sure. He's got medium even work rate, so it's decent in that. And the, in this guy's club, he has scored four goals, got seven assists. He can be attackive as well. Of course, he's very attackive in the header and spot and can score his header. Next in the bag was Gerard Piquet. Piquet is a player who's been around for years. He's been around with Barcelona. He's won so many trophies. And in this FIFA, he has been a very good player. He's slower, but he seems to be able to catch up because he's got 86 defensive so his physical. He is stronger. He's probably the, the physical should be higher than that, to be fair. But he is strong, and he scored two goals and got two assists for this guy. Next, we have Jordi Alba. Alba's PK's perfect link. Alba is a 92 pace left back of 80 defender and 76 physical. He's quite a small player. He's got high again, so maybe you don't want him as much maybe someone less but if you're someone who likes to attack and you attack a lot of teams and just dominate a lot of people then these of course do what you want. Next up we have Tony Close. This guy has him on the right, I'd probably have him in the middle myself because Tony Close is a very all rounder player and he can get back and forth but he is a bit slow and 856 pace is what can put people off but of course he's got a great pass, a great dribble, a great shooting and probably his defending and physical could be a bit higher than that, but I suppose there's a few stats in there that would probably pull it down. This row we have Hamas Rodriguez. Hamas Rodriguez is one of the most expensive transfers of all time, and there was reports that, I can't remember who from, but there was a £69 million bid for him this summer, but they were turned down, and he's staying around Madrid. He's a very good player, not a lot of people, not everyone likes him because he's left footed. Left footed players can put people off, left footed players can stop people from wanting to play with them. But yeah, left foot, but he is a very good all round player. Of course, he's young as well. 91, he was born in 2001, 2001. 25 years old, I think now, and he's just a very good all round player. Next, you have David Silva. Personally, I don't like David Silva. He's a good player on the game, but I would probably use Sandy Gazzola or something like that. I'm not sure if he'd fit in this team, but like Sandy Gazzola or Fabregas, I think I prefer because David Silva's so small. He, he just gets muscled off the ball. He's got great grip and great passing, and I think his shooting's very good in game. He's got 10 goals, 16 assists, 4 star skill. But I think he's just, he just lacks what he has in real life on FIFA. FIFA just makes him not as good as he is in real life. The right wing we have Carlos Vea. Real social dad version of Carlos Vea. 4 star skill and 2 per week. This guy's very good player. You can play him in any team for me, and he'll just always perform. 86 pace, 65 physical, 84 dribble, 75 passing. Sure. He's a very, very good all-round player, and I would expect him to stay top quality for a few more years to come. And he, he just seems to stay high rated, and he is just one of them because there's not a lot of choice in BVA. You've got Messi, you've got Bayer. There's not a lot else. Jason Martinez up front. Jason Martinez obviously isn't it? I have to come in anymore, but until we come FIFA 17. He will still be on FIFA, and Jackson Martinez was arrived at Atletico Madrid for a lot of money, but then the Chinese club paid even more money, and now he has got the China. He's got all-round stats, 81 pace, 82 shooting, 79 dribbling, 85 physical, 4 star, 4 star, which is what you want. He's got higher than medium, which is quite good as well. He's one of the more well players that is fairly tall and fairly quick, and that's what you like. 
not quite an Aubameyang standard, but he's nearly 101 games, 60 goals, and he's seen assisted. As it, it shows all right, but then you don't know how I don't actually know how well player. Then Conor Plenka, of course, if you won the um, pink footies, Conor Plenka, you can get the pink footies. Conor Plenka. 92 plays 84 during main pass, him. he's an all-round player, you can just attack with him, he's so easy to play with. And just do a chip through ball, or just run with him and do four-star skill moves, you just do your skill moves with him. And he's got 35 goals, 34 assists, and he's a very, very good all-round player. Anyway guys, that is the team, if you did enjoy, please leave a like rating, and subscribe for more. Anyway, I've been GF7, and I'll see you later, goodbye.